Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to make food storage cheese garlic breadsticks. These are a wonderful accompaniment to any meal and I'm going to be making a food storage meal so I want some breadsticks to go along with it. The first thing you do is you put all of your dry ingredients into your mixer. And so far here I have three and a half cups of flour. I'm going to add four tablespoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one half cup of powdered shortening. Now if you don't have powdered shortening, feel free to go ahead and use your regular shortening, but make sure that you put it in with the wet right before the wet ingredients and not now with the dry. Because we want to mix it all up first. One cup of cheese powder. And you can get any of these products at Honeybell. Shortening powder, you need to look on Google and look up shortening powder and you'll be able to find where they sell that. One tablespoon of garlic powder. And you can put poppy seeds or, you know, any other spice in here that you'd like if you want to make it Italian bread or anything like that. Just use your imagination. It all tastes great. So let's go ahead and mix this up real quick just to kind of get the flowers and everything blended together so you don't get flower clumps in your meal. All right, now we're going to add, oh, what is it? Uh, one and a half cups of water at the most. And I'm gonna add this a little bit at a time until it forms a dough. You can start pretty quick get that going. Just let it mix everything in. You can use your dough hook if you choose. We're just trying to get everything moistened. And I think we're looking pretty good. I left a little in here. Let's stop it and see what it feels like. Um, it's a little dry. I'm going to add just a hair more. Let's see if that makes it a little moister. My lock on my mixer doesn't stay locked sometimes, so I have to hold it. And it's all coming together into a dough. At this point, you can switch to your dough hook or however you'd like to do it. Now we're going to lightly knead it 20 to 25 times, which is what you averagely do, and then roll it between the palms of your hand and make pencils. So let's go ahead and get this off. Looks good, doesn't it? Pull that off of there. And I'm going to go ahead and knead this, and I'll get back with you. Now we're going to try to do this over here. I don't know if it's going to work. And you have a choice. You can take a big piece or a little piece. And that's what it looks like after it's kneaded. You can uh, knead it in flour if you need to. But I usually just cut my water down a little bit. And then I'll have to make it real floury. And just roll it out. I roll it out. You only need like four or five inches. Make yourself some small ones. But uh, I like to roll it out long and cut them in half. It's just easier. I get two done at the same time. And just do that. Grab a handful. It's really pliable. And roll it out. And I'm going to go ahead and do this with all of them. And then I'll get back with you. Now some of these I rolled a little thinner. And one of my children likes Parmesan cheese, and the other one doesn't. So I'm just dipping these in some plain old water just to get them wet. And I'm going to put some cheese on them. Now, these are really fast and easy to make. So normally, you would have your um, oven started at 450. 
shifting and they only cook for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to put some cheese down in here and kind of just roll them into it. And then we're going to bake them at 450 for 10 minutes and we have cheesy bread. You know, these go over real. And there we go. Cheesy garlic bread. And Parmesan even. So I'm going to take a little piece here. And I have some homemade tzatziki hiding over here. I made with my homemade yogurt. Mmm. They're just beautiful inside. I love <laughs> tzatziki. So make some cheesy garlic bread today. Blessings.